Parents, what you see as an unnecessary fear that you notice in your teenagers might actually be something very different. It might be anxiety. Anxiety is very real, it's powerful, and it can be debilitating for your son or daughter. Hi, I'm Renee Sullins, and I am a life coach for teenagers. I help parents and teenagers turn those stressful teenage years into joyful ones. So today, I'm gonna to share with you things to look for in terms of finding out if your teen is actually suffering from anxiety. So if you're a parent and you're thinking that your teen might be suffering from anxiety, would you please comment below and let me know any signs or symptoms that you see that are of concern to you. When my daughter was in high school, we noticed certain things that were going on and I'll share some of those symptoms with you because you might recognize those in your own teen. But we really didn't step back and think, gosh, there might be something a little bit uh, deeper going on here. You know, you think your teenager is making excuses or they're being lazy or procrastinating or something, but there's something made much deeper. And because I've gone through that and I know how painful it was and we didn't catch it until much later on, which caused a little bit more serious consequences, I want to be able to save you, the parent, from that grief and that struggle. So I want to share with you what to look for. This is not an exhaustive list, but what to look for. These are common things that I know as a parent that suffered with it, had a child that suffered with it. And for my clients that I work with, this is a pretty good list that you can start with so you can start helping your child if they suffer from anxiety. Some things that you need to look out for. Most typically, any sort of thing that has to do with their, their body. Stomach aches and headaches, and also headaches that can manifest itself as migraines are very typical. Nausea, digestive issues, something like that. Something that also comes on pretty quickly too. That you can't trace to something that they've done to cause that externally to themselves. Another thing is excuses not to go somewhere. They just don't feel like it. If you notice anything in their sleep habits, it's hard for them to fall asleep. They wake up in the middle of the night. They're just not sleeping soundly. What about if they're withdrawing from social interaction? Or conversely, they're diving into social media as not to have that personal, in-person, one-on-one, interaction with others? What if they're losing weight or they're gaining weight or something about how they're feeling about their body image is changing noticeably? That should be a cause of concern too. And another thing, and this might be really obvious for you, is their grades are slipping. They're a great student, all of a sudden they're not. And you can't find what would be a viable answer in your mind as to why that's happening. It might be there's something going on inside that's causing them to have anxiety. So if you see your son or daughter exhibiting any of these symptoms, I would say to an elevated level. Some teens show these things in, in one way, just one way. Maybe it's eating or sleeping and others have multiple. So there's no hard and fast rule. I don't say this to alarm you, but I'm saying this as I have a parent, I want you to step back and really be observant on changes in behavior of your teenager. So in addition to being that parent who had a child that suffered with this, the majority of teenagers that I coach, regardless of their demographic, of their family situation, of their academic skills, they suffer from some level of anxiety, some deeper than others. So if you feel like your teenager might be suffering from this, you can see professional help of a therapist, psychiatrist, a coach, your family doctor, someone to discuss these with, and then they can proceed forward with an action plan for you. So I'll give you an example of a teen that I worked with. Very bright teenager, forward thinker, very progressive, lots of confidence in many other areas, except in this one area. And it was actually with one class, but that one class that she had anxiety about caused her to have stomach aches. She would not show up for class. Her mother would have to pick her up from school. 
So we looked at what it was. Was it the subject? Was it the teacher? Was it the classroom? Was it where she sat in the classroom? You look at all the different parts and pick it apart. And then you look at the mindset. And we worked with that and saw what was actually the root cause of all that. And we're able to make a strategic plan. And now she's soaring academically. She's taken up other things that she loves to do creatively and her grades are better. Her mom is happy. So I love taking someone who is struggling with that anxiety and turning it into powerful, confident young people. So if you're a parent and you have concern that your teenager might be suffering from anxiety, please contact me for a complimentary consultation. We'll talk about that. And then additionally, I would like to give a complimentary coaching session to your team to dive in to see if that's really what's going on with them. And we can move forward with coaching if that's something that would work for you, or I will suggest another plan of action. I don't want you to have to struggle with this. So if I can be of help, please contact me through my website. You can click on the link that goes straight to my calendar. You can schedule this conveniently for yourself and for your teenager.